KCTCS, transforming lives, transforming Kentucky. Hi, this is Assistant Coach John Robick of the Kentucky basketball team, and welcome to this week's edition of Inside the Play. For this week's Inside the Play, we have, we have Darius Miller that's going to come off a staggered screen by DeMarcus Cousins' Patrick Patterson. You have a man in the corner, and point guard has the ball up top. And as we roll the tape, we see Darius coming over the top of DeMarcus and Pat's screen. Our first look is when Eric Bledsoe passed the ball to Darius Miller. You got Darnell Dotson in the corner, and you have Pat, Patrick Patterson that's spaced out. Now we have great spacing on the floor. First option for Darius is to shoot the basketball. If they take, if they take his shot away, uh, now we get into a motion type action that explores different areas of the court, but the key to the play is our spacing. So as we, as we roll the tape, Darius does not have shot, Eric Bledsoe spaced wide. Darnell should be a little bit lower in the corner to give Darius a driving lane to his left, but he knows that he can go both ways. Pat's in the other corner. DeMarcus is low, reading what Darius does. So as we go, Darius drives to his right, and you see Eric Bledsoe doing a really nice job of coming from behind to get a pitch. Now, and his job is to get that pitch and attack. So as Eric gets the ball, he attacks. Darnell should stay low in the corner. Darius replaces high, just in case he needs from behind. All right. DeMarcus stays away from the ball. Eric either has shot, a lob to DeMarcus, or in this case, kicks it to Patrick Patterson, wide open in the corner. It's a great read by Bledsoe. Pat catches the ball, makes a big three in the guts of the game. Today's Wildcat Recap is brought to you by McDonald's. McDonald's, I'm loving it. Man to man, 2-3 zone. I think they're going to play us a lot of 2-3, and I think they're going to hold the ball and try to play like South Carolina did. Let's prove to teams you can't do that to us. You can't do that to us. We're going to take you out, and then we're going to make good plays on offense. Offensively, if they're playing this way, you got to sprint it, lay up, post, or... Pull it back now. Don't take a tough shot because they're going to be holding the ball. They'll go a little bit of press man or 2-2-1. I don't think they'll do it much. Keys to the game. We're on the road. Compete like crazy. Have a ball and compete. Rebound with all five guys and go. <coughs> Rebound with all five guys and then take off. Easy plays. This is the main thing we've got to start working on. Everybody here, what's the easiest play I can make? I'm making it. It may be a shot. Just shoot it then. Enjoy the road. Let's hold them to 40%, plus 10 rebounds, 16 assists, 10 steals. You know that's a W. Let's go. Steal by Bledsoe. Eric Bledsoe. Finger rolls it in. Out of the timeout. Turnover LSU. Easy two. Kentucky. Eric Bledsoe got his hand in the passing lane and turned that into easy bucket for the Wildcats. DeMarcus Cousins back into the game, backing down on Storm Warren and dunking down right on top of Storm Warren. What a play. It's an isolation, no help from LSU, no double team. DeMarcus Cousins recognized it, used his body well. That play did not look like a play from a typical freshman. down the baseline. Here's Mitchell. Space for a moment. Wall closes out on him. Give and go. Warren blocked by Patterson at the rim. Wow. What a block by Patrick Patterson. That looked to me, Carter, like it was a, about as well executed of a play as you could have. And Patrick Patterson out of nowhere says, no, no, not today. The team of those guys together. Wow. The athleticism from a point guard. How about the freshman for Kentucky at about six foot tall, six foot one, maybe? Holy mackerel. Cousins is always involved in the play, watching the action. 
about the athleticism, the agility for a guy like DeMarcus Cousins on the run to make that kind of a. Watch this. Wall. Wow. Wow. Brought Carter out of his seat. <laughs> he makes that play look easy. Bo Spencer tries to steal it. Wall goes behind the back. The speed and athleticism. Well, you are watching some young, talented players today for Kentucky. Great intensity to start this game. Make easy plays. Let's go 40 minutes. Let me tell you something. Having fun. You know, we got eight left. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? I mean, you think about us preseason, all the running. We got eight games left. Eight. This is one of them. You take this to them in the beginning. You let them know it's real. It is real. You play us, they look at the warm up lines and they go, oh my gosh. They look at 25,000 people. All right, let's go after these guys right from the start. Taking 43, but he's made 35% of those 43. Lob Cousins and a dunk. Wall got it through the press ahead to Bledsoe. Came down the right side, lobbed it to Cousins at the rim. Tapped out to Liggins. Throws it ahead to Patterson. Touch pass off to Wall. Wall down the lane behind his back. Puts it in. And a foul. Count the basket for John Wall. A sweep behind the back and into the basket layup. Out to Wall, into the middle of that zone. Bounce pass underneath for a dunk, and a foul on Alabama. It's Daniel Orton on the nifty bounce pass from John Wall. Again, John Wall's ability to slice between two defenders at the top of the Alabama zone. Left, then goes right down the lane, puts it in, count it, and a foul. Change of direction, a little shake and bake, and he's off to the races. Mitchell for three, left side, no good. Ball's tapped up into the air and finally controlled by Cousins. Outlet pass to Patterson, he's behind the defense for a dunk. I don't expect you to play great every night out, but I expect you to ball. I expect you to be physical. I expect you to go play, okay? <coughs> I'm going to try to do a better job with you two. You get back to doing what you were doing when everybody's blown away by who you are. <coughs> Defensively diving, you know what I'm saying? All right, let's go. 